So how's it going everyone? Welcome back to another Avengers video. So we've actually been hit with an unexpected patch today. The dev team has been pretty silent over the past week, which has definitely made quite a bit of people angry over on the subreddit, which is pretty understandable. I think they need to work on their communication skills just a little bit better. But regardless, it looks like there's actually going to be a fairly decent amount of changes in this patch, especially considering it comes one week after the previous patch. And they actually change a lot of things that the community has been asking about for a couple weeks now. So that's that's pretty good. So let's go ahead and get right into the patch notes. It says, hello Marvel's Avengers community, patch 1.3.1 addresses a handful of large issues, including a fix for players being unable to accept faction missions slash villain sectors. We recognize and apologize that this bug prevented players from being able to earn specific rare rewards as such. We're granting the following to all players, 250 polychorons and 500 uru. These rewards can be claimed from Thursday, September 24th at 10 a.m. until Thursday, October 1st at 10 a.m. says you must view one of your challenge cards to activate this reward. So this is going live today. This actually fixes the bug that has been bothering me ever since the game came out. I've missed out on so many DNA keys and I've missed out on so many upgrade resources. I mean, so 250 polychorons is nothing. It's not nearly as much as what we could have gotten if we played the game every single day since launch. But at least it's better than nothing. They could have just fixed it and then just not compensated us at all. So at least this is enough polychorons to upgrade somebody's exotic artifact all the way but I can't really complain too much here I'm just glad that they fixed the villain sector and then going forward regarding the campaign it says various reassemble campaign and Avengers initiative fixes including various crash and stability fixes they fix a rare issue when selecting once an Avenger inadvertently sending the player to the wrong mission they fix an issue keeping some mission chains from completing properly when all the requirements are met and then moving on from the campaign over to combat. It says various combat fixes tuning including Captain America can now smash through doors. This has been a huge complaint from people. If you were a Captain America main and you ran around the environment, you just couldn't smash through doors or activate any of the panels, so you missed out on a bunch of loot. So now it actually makes sense to run around and try to collect loot with Captain America. So I'm really glad that they made this change. And then they fixed an issue where overcharge meters were inappropriately decreasing during a team finisher. So I didn't even know that was a bug, so that's good that they fixed that. And then for some fine tuning, it says that they improved responsiveness when entering sprint flight and jump as Iron Man they improve the responsiveness for light air hammer attacks as Thor they improve the reliability of Iron Man's thruster uppercut they improve the presentation of Captain America's sprinting block and then they tuned the spin keeper standard attack reduced heroic drain and added an off-screen attack indicator so everybody in the community has been really upset at these stupid spin keepers and spin attacks because the spin attacks will drain your heroic meters so if you you have a fully charged ultimate ability and one of these spin keepers attacked you and there was no indicator off screen like you just got hit by their attack and you didn't even know it was coming you would lose most of your ultimate ability and it just took a lot of fun out of the game so this is a good change i'm glad that they're fixing that and it looks like they're taking a lot of feedback from the community in this update which is really good i'm glad that they're actually listening to the player feedback and then going forward it says that they tuned the adept drone synthoid and keeper they added a new standard attack to the drone and to the keeper. They adjusted the homing attack to happen less frequently. They adjusted homing projectiles to be more balanced. They increased the global countdown for all quantum homing projectile attacks and they adjusted the quantum shard projectiles so that they are no longer unblockable. So this is based off of more community feedback which is great. A lot of people have been complaining about the just projectiles in general in this game have been too unbalanced and too many things hitting you from off screen has just been taking the fun away. So this is yet again a another good change. And then in regards to the gear challenges and rewards, it says that they address an issue where refreshing a missing weekly mission would result in a crash. Weekly missions should now appear as intended. We've temporarily disabled refreshing incomplete challenges. Full functionality will be restored in the next update. And then they address an issue where villain sectors would not properly refresh, which caused players to miss out on weekly rewards. They fixed an issue that prevented daily requisitions from clearing as intended. They granted players the iconic iron man outfit if they lost it due to an outfit bug i personally had this problem which bothered me for the longest time because i just i wanted to play with the iconic iron man outfit they fixed a broken legendary reward that was incorrectly set to power level one this is actually pretty huge because people that were completing the 14 wave hive were getting power one gear and that would be just a complete turn off for people 
So hopefully, fingers crossed, this is fixed after this update, and now you can actually go out and try to grind that 14 level hive to try to get those exotics. Because there would be nothing worse than if you tried to beat all 14 waves and it took like an hour to an hour and a half, and you would just get a power one level gear that was useless. So definitely fingers crossed. Then they addressed an issue with the insurmountable perk was being applied to gear drops. They fixed an issue where some users would not be granted any rewards upon completing an elite heroic hive run. So this would happen to me. I would go through all the time of grinding out that hive just to get like five upgrade modules and I wouldn't even get any gear. So if this is fixed, this actually gives me a reason to try to play the elite heroic hives again. They granted against a specific scenario that caused Kamala to lose a skill point. We are still investigating retroactive fixes. They adjust loot tables and mega hives to increase the chance for additional loot will be a reward. Awarded. So this is another good change. It looks like they're actually listening to all the hate and all the feedback that people are giving them about the hives and they're actually going out and making some good changes here. And then for closing in the upcoming changes, it says we are in the final stages of testing the following features and hope to have them rolled out in the near term patch. Subtitle size options, high contrast mode, a war ping system, and a toggle option for hero icons to remain always visible. So overall, I think this is a really good patch. There's a lot of of quality of life changes and a lot of the problems that the community has been voicing is getting fixed in this update. And I've noticed on a couple of my previous videos where I point out some of these problems, people just say that I'm a hater and I'm just spreading negativity in the community and stuff, which is not the case. If people don't voice their concerns and they don't talk about the problems, then they're never going to fix them. This entire patch is based off of the community's feedback. If everybody just said that the game was perfect and we didn't point out any of these bugs or glitches or have any complaints, then we wouldn't even have most of these fixes that are coming in this update. So I just don't understand why people have that mentality. There's so many people out there that defend this game. They constantly are saying, I don't have any bugs, I don't have any problems, you're just complaining just to hear yourself complain. Well, if people like me didn't bring these issues up, we wouldn't be getting these fixes today. So I'm really happy that these fixes are coming. The end game content is still pretty boring though. Like at least they fixed the rewards for the end game hives. I still don't really want to do them or feel like grinding them, but at least they have the option to grant you rewards now as of today. So I hope that they got them fixed. They didn't completely fix them in the last update. So fingers crossed, at least they fixed the daily villain sectors. I missed kind of doing those. You could do those every single day, but I just didn't get the chance to do them for like two weeks. So those were some good changes changes. This patch was definitely unexpected. I did not expect it to come as soon as it did, but they do need to increase their uh, communication a little bit better. Even if it's just a tweet or saying, hey, we hear your guys' thoughts and opinions, we're working on it. Something is better than nothing. So they definitely need to be a little bit more active on social media, maybe over on the Reddit, answer the community questions and stuff. But other than that, I don't really have too many complaints with this patch. It looks pretty good. It looks pretty solid. There's some pretty good changes. I'm glad that they're listening to the community, but I can't wait to go and check out everything myself. So let me know what you guys think of this patch down in the comment section down below. Is there any big changes that you guys would like to see in the future? Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell for notifications. That way you guys don't miss out on any new future Avengers videos. And that is going to do it for me, everyone. And I will talk to you all in the next video.